Security and record keeping are important aspects of tax preparation. Backing up tax return data helps protect you in instances of data loss caused by data corruption or hardware failures and can also be a valuable tool in your efforts to address IRS record keeping requirements. Certain situations may even require you to completely restore all of your ATX system data. ATX allows you to create backups of both return data and system data. ATX will automatically back up return data when you close a return or a manager and will even store revisions of each return. With each return, ATX also backs up e-files, bank product information, fixed asset data, and any PDF attachments. In addition, ATX backs up data in the company, payer, preparer ERO, and billing managers two minutes after the last change is made or you close the manager. All of these backups are stored on your hard drive or other storage location of your choice. While you can turn off the automatic backup preference, we recommend that you leave it on. This is the default setting. You can restore any return that's been backed up. If you need to restore a return, click Returns. Click Restore Returns. ATX displays the Restore dialog box. Select the checkboxes for the returns you need to restore. ATX lists available versions of the return in the Revision drop-down list. Select the version you want to restore. You can also restore company, payer, preparer, form rates, or hourly rate information. To do so, select the checkboxes at the bottom of the dialog box. Click Restore. ATX may display a message that the return or other data exists. Confirm that you want to replace the existing return. In addition to automatically backing up return data each time you close the return, the ATX software automatically backs up the entire system every hour. ATX backs up everything in your database during a full system backup, including returns that were already backed up via automatic backup. By default, ATX stores your full system backup data on the C drive of either your standalone machine or your network server, depending on your installation type. You can change the location of your backup data in the Admin Console. Use the Admin Console to perform activities relating to the ATX system and ATX server. Make sure you are logged in as the Admin user to access the Admin Console. To open the Admin Console, click Support. Click About. ATX displays the About dialog box. Click the Admin Console link at the bottom of this window. ATX opens the Admin Console. On the Server Settings tab, you might need to restart the server, which is a component of every ATX configuration, even standalone installations. For more on the server, see the Admin Console section of Program Help or the ATX User Guide. Use the File Settings tab to change where files are stored or change where full system backups are stored. We strongly recommend that you change the backup location to a permanent location, such as another drive that is not on the standalone computer or network. This will help protect against data loss caused by damage to your computer system, like an electrical surge. To change the location, click Browse and select the new location. We added the full system backup so you have current data available if you have a computer failure or other data loss. In most cases, you will never need to use a full system restore. We designed this to be used only in disaster scenarios where the database is completely corrupted or lost. It's important to understand the difference between certain ATX features and to learn which features are appropriate for the things that happen in your workplace. It's especially important not to confuse backup and restore with import and export functions. Whereas ATX's backup and restore features are designed to protect you if you lose critical data during a system disaster, export and import help you move data that you're working on from one place to another. So if you want to take returns home to work with them on a laptop or a home computer, or if you want to move returns from one non-network computer to another non-network computer, use import and export. Be aware that storing and transporting sensitive data on portable devices may increase the risk of data being compromised if the portable storage device is lost or stolen. It is critical to protect these devices by taking measures such as encrypting the data, keeping the device in a secure location, 
and deleting the data when no longer needed. Only consider restoring the system backup if you have a data corruption issue or a computer failure. In the case of a data corruption or a computer failure, be sure to understand any computer and server recommendations as well as ATX restore information before restoring the system backup or consult a technical expert. If you want additional tips on backup and restore and how it compares to import and export, see the documentation that accompanies this video or ATX program help.